All right, guys, I'm probably gonna regret this video a lot, but I did a Snapchat video Q&A, so um, currently questions are coming in, so I'm just gonna go as we go. And yeah, I don't know what these videos are gonna be, so I'm probably gonna have to cut a lot of stuff. Next question comes from Ryan McNally, and he said, In time and spend another year on any card, which one would it be? For the man, motherfucker, motherfucker. I think he wants to know if I could play any COD all the time, what would it be? Black Ops 2. No, COD 2, COD 2. If we all went back to COD 2, I would be dominant so COD 2. Global Concepts says, asks the next question, he goes. Who is your favorite pro player? Who is my favorite pro player? I have a lot, so I'm gonna say it's a time between all my teammates, cause I'm teaming with my best friends in the COD community, and Saints, and so those four, and then I'm trying to think, Merc, Saints, Embos, Mirror, Rick, and Merc are all on the same level of friendship with me. Purdue shuts out Michigan State. They're getting 21 to, 21 to zero right now, so my roommate's trying to fuck with me. So if you could do any job other than Call of Duty, what would it be? Uh, thanks for putting me in your video. No problem, that boy Jack, and if I could do any job other than Call of Duty, it would definitely be, well, I don't know, see, I want I was gonna initially say something really lazy that makes a lot of money, but I wanna have fun, and I don't think that'd be that fun, so, hmm, I don't know, dude. Um, something in the gaming industry, I'm actually really passionate about gaming, so, it'd be like either on, the, it'd be on the esports side of things, probably just helping esports grow, that or nutrition, because, no, whichever one of those I like focus on, whatever I'm focusing on fitness or if I'm focusing on the like, gaming, I become like really, really indulged in it. So one of those. All right, next question comes from Ryan underscore 04. True or false? The only thing uglier than me right now is your line history. Wow. Ryan 04, you're just an asshole. Really, dude? You know what this guy said? No, what? He goes, true or false? The only thing uglier than me right now is your land history. Whoa, you were pretty fucking hideous, dude. So I'm gonna go ahead and say fall or, yeah, false, false, right, false. Yeah, false, yeah. Next one comes from It's Cambridge. What's up, Ant? I was just wondering, uh, have you ever worked a like real job, full-time, part-time, or anything like that? No, I haven't. I've never worked a real job, ever. Tough life. Next question comes from Balan98. UMG Nashville signing my scuff gaming controller. Got J Cap, formal embos, all the other things. But do you remember signing it? I bet you don't. Um, I actually don't remember signing that, but I'm glad I did because you seem like the homie. Thanks for submitting the question, bro. Next question comes from Mary St. Clair. When guys wear shirts like this to the gym. Whoa. Like, look at my lats. I can't put that in the video. Some girl just sent her tits. <laughs> All right, Mary St. Clair, thank you for the cleavage video. Sorry I had to censor that on the video for you guys, but it is what it is. Guys, well, um, next question comes from Nestor, and he goes, What's your biggest fear and your favorite gun in all the Call of Duties you've played? Biggest fear is not achieving my dreams and dying alone. Got real serious and dark right there. And my favorite Call of Duty is, Black, is Call of Duty 2. Favorite competitive Call of Duty is Black Ops 2. My favorite gun is the Car 98K from COD 2. Next question comes from Evan. So, uh, where do you think they place at Worlds? Cause let's try to get the first for the squad. Hey squad. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to get first. Nothing less, anything less than that is a disappointment to me. But um, we'll see when we get there. I think we're going with this team. We were actually having to talk about this in our group chat last night. So we think we can win. Yo, neighbors, you miss teaming with Joey D. Hashtag ass Hell yeah, I missed teaming with Joey D. That was my duo for a year. I miss that dude. My favorite, his, his shirt is my favorite t-shirt. Next question comes from I'm Not Vain. The fuck is wrong with you, man? What is this shit? What was that, dude? What was that? You didn't even ask a question. I don't want to see that. All right, next question comes from R. Mahan Sogalski, and he goes, Nameless, have you ever decided that Call of Duty wasn't your game and, or contemplated quitting? 
or switching to another game and playing that game competitively? Uh, good question. I actually considered it a few times, like, but it was like little small, uh, just times of my life where I was like, I don't know if it's for me. Like this year, halfway through it, I was thinking, I was like, I don't know. This year has been pretty bad for me so far. Like, I think I might want to move on and stuff like that. That's how it was for me. So I don't know. It just depends. And yes, he's young and reckless. But yeah, so it just depends. Sometimes I go through little like uh, phases where I don't want to play and stuff. But for the most part, not that often. That, but that was one time. Um, Black Ops 2. Uh, before that year, I actually quit for an entire year uh, during MW3. I played like a couple events and won them, and uh, I got a lot of stuff in order in my life, which was good. And other than that, I never really quit before. But right now, I'm like really focused on playing because next year's gonna be huge. And how do you feel of being on Optic Nation? Do you think the Optic organization is going to help you on the YouTube side of things? Thank you. I think the Optic organization is going to help me on, on everything. Um, just overall mentality and everything. I'm um, trying to become a better YouTuber for you guys. Being a part of Optic obviously sets the bar high. I am holding my hand above the camera, so it's pretty fucking high. And yeah, so it definitely is helping me a lot. Just motivating me and driving me to become a better uh, entertainer and stuff like that and also I want to win for the org so shout out to Hex for giving me this opportunity and stuff like that but yeah definitely do next question comes from Jamie Martinez all right my question is will you be able to bring something to the table for Optic Nation 100% man I think I'm bringing positive vibes energy and something that the team hasn't had in a long time so I think I definitely bring a lot to the table and we're gonna do a lot better at this tournament than they have at previous tournaments who is the funniest person you've ever teamed with 1,000%, 1,000%, it's a tie between Embos and Saints. Two funniest human beings I've teamed with. Last question comes from Minis Jr. How long did it take for you to get recognized coming up as an amateur player um, before we started going to LAN events and things like that as well? And uh, yeah, keep up the good work. Thank you, homie, and it didn't really take me that long because I was playing since Call of Duty 2, so when MLG came to COD, which was the first tournament organizi organizer, I was already a good player, so um, it's kind of different for me, but for other pros, um, it, honestly, they would just play a lot, play a lot of tournaments, enter 2Ks and 5Ks, and they would show up to a tournament, they'd get their chance against a pro team, and they would go off against that pro team. So all you have to do is show up to a land and do good. Get, once you get your opportunity, you have to seize, seize the moment. You only get one chance, so whenever you get that opportunity, make sure you capitalize on it because that's how a lot of people break out. Like I remember um, uh, Hook, he would go to LAN and drop a lot of big numbers versus people, so he got kind of on the radar, and then in, when AW came out, he was dropping 50s and 2Ks and stuff online, and people were like, holy crap, this guy's a warrior. Went to LAN, played really good, got his first opportunity, now look at him, so that's pretty much the answer to that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed the snap questions. I liked answering them. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.